A federal judge has stepped in, ending the use of cubs for educational programs, at least for now. I don't give a shit what PETA says. I don't care. Wildlife in need, refuge owner Tim Stark not mincing words when it comes to a recent ruling by a judge and how PETA says the refuge treats its big cats. They're not a governing body. They are not a governing agency in any way, shape, or form. What they are is that. On Monday, a judge ordered a temporary injunction against wildlife in need after PETA claimed the refuge violated the Endangered Species Act by declawing big cats. So if it was actually this horrific surgery and it caused an animal all this anguish and pain and all that kind of stuff, what vet is going to do that surgery? They're here to help animals, not to hurt them. The judge also said cubs under 18 months old are not allowed to be used in public encounters or prematurely separated from their mothers without medical necessity. Stark said the animals are born in captivity, and that's the only life they know. Separating them will not have any psychological impact on them. These are animals are going to remain in captivity their entire life. There, there's no way you can take a lion or a tiger and go release it into that so-called wild. That ain't the way it works. We're asking the court to appoint a, a special guardian to determine um, the best placement for these animals and, and that the animals be removed from the custody of wildlife in need. Stark says if he was in violation of USDA rules or regulations, they wouldn't have renewed his license four months ago. And just because PETA says one side, why isn't my side, you know, just legit? They're saying this and that, and, you know, it's not fair. For now, the photo ops with the Cubs will stop. It was one of the main sources of income for the refuge. Stark is not going down without a fight. I refuse to be guilty until proven innocent. That's not the way the Constitution of the United States of America works. That is not right. And that injunction will remain in place as long as PETA's lawsuit remains in the courts. Reporting from Charlestown, Indiana, Joel Skipper, WDRB News. Thank <laughs> you.